I'm Helen Brumby and welcome to The Taste Kitchen brought to you by Aldi. Now today we're talking steak and who better to join us to give us some top tips than the incredibly talented Simon Wood. Hi Simon. Hi Helen. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Shall we get straight down to business? Absolutely. We've got three different cuts of steak here. Where do you want to start? We've got the rump steak, yeah. the fillet steak and then the sirloin steak. Now the fillet and the sirloin, they've both been aged over 28 and 30 days. Yep. What that means is that you get a more succulent, full flavoured cut of meat when you, when you come to cut your steak. Sounds very good to Absolutely. me. How did they age it though over that time? It's kept in a protected environment, hung at the, at the correct temperature, yeah. and then you know packaged and brought to your door. Fantastic. Now, I've spotted something on here that my little boy would love, and it is a red tractor on every single one of these steaks. What does that mean? That means that, that this meat is packed to British standards. It's, you can track it from farm to fork. Um, you know that when you see the red tractor that you're getting a good quality product. Now, you may be aware that Aldi are in partnership with Team GB, and we are helping support our athletes on their road to Rio. We've caught up with two of the guys, Jack and Dan, and here they are to tell you about their favourite steaks. My perfect steak is with a, a lot of pepper on it and a bit of salt and then I like my meat really rare, like quite rare to the point where it's only just sealed and seared on the outside um, and then red on the inside. That's a way that I perfectly like my steak. My method would probably be on a barbecue, slap it on a couple of minutes each side. Right, now you've been cooking for us, you've cooked up the steaks we looked at earlier. Um, tell me how you've cooked them. So we've, we've got the three cuts, we've got the fillet, which is rare, you can feel that, it's nice and springy. The springier the meat, the rarer it's going to be. Oh, great. Then we've got the rump, which is medium rare, you can feel that's slightly little, a little bit more resistance. And then we've got the sirloin, which is firm to touch and that's going to be well done. You know when you have those dinner parties and you're serving steak and you've got like about five or six people and they all want it served differently, how do you combat the stress in the kitchen with that? Yeah, I mean you want to be enjoying yourself as yes. well. So um, the simple things you can do, make sure your steaks are all the same thickness and at the same temperature when they go in, which should be room temperature before you cook it. Yeah. If you want, uh, if you've got a guest that, that wants something that's well done, you pop that one in the pan first, then maybe wait 90 seconds before adding in the next steak, yeah. which can be medium rare or medium. Yeah. Then wait another 90 seconds and pop in your last one, which someone might want rare, and you can work from there. Okay, so do you put the oil in the pan first? Is the pan sizzling hot? How does it work? From start to finish, my tips for cooking steak are, are quite simple. And if you follow these, you'll, you'll not go very far wrong. So you want the steak at room temperature. Oil the steak into a screaming hot pan. Don't put the oil in the pan, put it onto the meat. Yep. Quick season just before it goes on. That way the salt's not sitting there extracting the juices while you're waiting to cook it. Into the pan, never use a fork. Don't wow. turn your steak with a fork because no, I've done that. you want that nice contact so that all the juice stays inside the steak. If you put the fork in there, um, you're going to let all the juice out, it's going to steam in the pan and that'll make the meat go tough. Wow, I never knew that. That's an incredible tip actually, so always use tongs. Yeah, definitely, always tongs. When you turn the steak over to cut the, the opposite side, add in a couple of knobs of butter to the pan and just baste that over the top. Yeah. Another 90 seconds for medium rare. Take the steak out and most importantly, most important of all, let the steak sit there and just relax. Okay, so am I relaxing or is the steak relaxing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. How long, because this has always been key with me, how long do you leave the meat to rest for once it's been cooked? My general rule of thumb is let the meat rest for half the amount of time that you cook it for at a minimum. From here I can see it looks very tender. This is the fillet steak and it's rare, isn't yeah. it? Go on then, slice it open. It does look very, very tasty. Use the tongue, yeah. I mean, it's so moist, that, isn't it? Yeah, we'll slice it on the angle so it looks nice. Yeah. Oh, that is so... If you like rare steak, you're going to love that. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're looking for more steak recipe inspiration or simply a catch-up on the hints and tips Simon's given us today, you can visit our recipe section at aldi.co.uk or simply click on the link below. You can also join in conversation and share your hints and tips with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at Aldi UK. So, are we having fries with this or salad? Skinny fries. Great. See you next time. <laughs>